Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is an update for January 31st. We're going to look at January of 2020 and provide you an outlook for February 2020. All right, let's take a look here how we are doing so far. For the water year, which started October 1st, you can see that most of California is now dry or below average, except Southern California still hanging on to the very wet start with precipitation now running between 100% of normal to around 130% of normal. So just a little bit above still, especially for San Diego County and the inland deserts. Now temperature wise, we can see that there is some signal showing up because of the dry January Temperatures are beginning to show up as a few degrees above normal for most of coastal and the interior valleys of California. Again, this is since the start of the water year, October 1. What about for the month of January 2020? Precipitation across California has been minimal, uh, especially Southern California, where we are about 25% or less of average for the entire month of January. A lot of wetter conditions have occurred across the Pacific Northwest, especially Oregon and Washington, as the weather pattern has completely changed and shifted to that area, with a couple atmospheric rivers as well. Look at the numbers here specifically. Most of this precipitation occurred in November and December, but you can see our mountain areas are now running a couple inches below average. Well, our coastal and valley areas are either running right around average except in San Diego County still running above average. Yeah. All right, across the Sierra Nevada, where a considerable amount of water supply comes into California for agriculture and for drinking, we are still running quite a bit below normal. The precipitation so far is sitting at about 65% of average. It's running close to the very dry year of 2017, 2018 as shown on this map. What about the snowpack, the snow water equivalent? How much liquid is sitting up there in the snowpack, which is critical to water supply? You can see that we are dry for the most part and we are running below normal. Now compared to the average to date, sitting around 70 to 75% of average compared to what we should be at for this time end of January. What's the weather pattern been so far? this winter. Well, 2019 started off very active, but the jet stream has been pulling down storms directly from the north, so they've been cold, and there's been minimal tapping into the tropical regions as shown here. We've had a little bit of moisture that tapped in earlier in November and in December across Southern California. So for the month of January, this is what our weather pattern has been. Quite a bit different, even though the overall features remain the same. Upper level ridge has shifted to the west, that has allowed the jet stream to straighten out or be less amplified, and it's actually lifted further north into the Pacific Northwest of the United States. This storm track is critical to bringing precipitation and temperature changes to Southern California. Basically, we've been on the dry side of that storm track, and that is the case for much of California during the month of January. The water temperatures in the Pacific Ocean, they have not changed much since our recent updates. We do see considerable warming in the western part of the equator in the Enso region, but we do not see any El Nino or La Nina development, so still looking at neutral conditions. Across much of the Pacific, including the northern Pacific, there's still a reflection of that upper level ridge of high pressure and warmer than average sea surface temperatures. So overall, not an influence much from the ocean as we can tell. Well, how about the prediction as we go into February? So the prediction for the second week of February is looking like this. The first part of February is looking dry overall, but we do see a little change in the storm track where it goes a little bit further west, again, closer to what we saw in December, pointing it towards Southern California before it goes into the rest of the center of the United States. What this basically means is average precipitation is possible during this period for Southern California, not very good pattern for Northern California. It also is a pattern that brings in some of that colder air into the Rockies and the Great Basin area, including Southern California. 
So we do anticipate some change in the weather pattern and that does bring the potential for precipitation in Southern California during this time period, February 8th through 14th. What about for the entire month of February? Well, this is the latest outlook updated January 31st and overall the similar theme to what I showed you in the prior maps, except for this is for all of February where the expectation is drier than normal for central Northern California. Remember that area, February is one of the wettest months of all the months in the winter. So for Southern California, that means that we will get precipitation as we discussed, and we could end up being close to normal in SoCal. Overall, temperature wise, looks like because of this dry pattern and the upper level ridge anchored off the West Coast, above average temperatures in California. So keep in mind that dry doesn't mean no precipitation. It means that in this part of the world, especially in Northern California, you need several storms in what is normally a wet month of February to get either at average or even above. And in this case, the expectation is not enough storminess, not enough precipitation, so below normal precipitation. Our computer models are showing the same thing as shown here. And you can see overall that it's really targeting central and northern California for below normal anomalies or departure from average. February is typically a wet month, just like January. And when you only see a couple storms and the storms are coming from the northern trajectory rather than from the south or west, it's not favorable for significant precipitation. All right, um, when you look into the latter part of February as well, we also see a dry signal showing up. Initially a cold signal for the second, third week of February, but overall we see a dry signal or below average. So it looks like the potential for precipitation in Southern California is primarily targeted in the second week of February after uh, February 7th. All right, here's the summary. We've seen a lot of Santa Ana wind events, including one recently. We're up to 11. Some of those have been damaging, even the one recently. Uh, only about six precipitation events, and mainly those two big ones were November 28th and December 26th. Atmospheric rivers have been very weak. I wanted to include a map for you, but overall, um, they have been marginal at best uh, in the storms we saw in late November and December, and really not impacting anywhere in California. Dominant upper level high pressure, not a semi-permanent feature, but this winter it has been, especially recently. That upper ridge has shifted to the west and allowed the jet stream to shift north into the Pacific Northwest. We do see a little bit of a change um, in February for a chance of precipitation, as talked about early. So precipitation events are still possible and expected, but frequency and amount is low. So we're also gonna see warmer than average conditions for February and overall not enough storminess to bring most of the state up to normal, except for possibly here in Southern California, one or two storms could make a huge difference. Check the latest forecast at weather.gov San Diego. Uh, tune in to at NWS San Diego as well on social media. Thanks for tuning in.